Okay, so I'm just going to go into the first uh, bar uh, of our drum loop here. I'm just going to double click and I'm going to put in our final remaining sample. So we've got our tambourine and our open hat. So there's our tambourine and our open hat. So I'm just going to program this in just for the, the purpose of getting this in so we can actually break the parts down. So our tambourine, we're just going to place this just after each kick drum. If you just scroll across here. Just loop across this single bar. And then our open hat. The open hat, I'm just going to have the quantize set to 1 over 32, and we're going to put a hit on every of those 32 segments. So I'm just going to copy that across by holding down Alt, clicking that over. Might sound like a bit of a mess at the minute, but if we go into our Groove Agent, click on our open hat, and then go to our amplifier. Going to bring the release back to seven percent and if we go to the filter as well it's going to turn this on to a high pass and we'll push it up to about six and a half kilohertz i'll just remove any of the low end from it and we'll bring the volume out back as well so So it sits a lot nicer now. If we go to the tambourine, bring the volume of it back as well. And we'll go to the filter on the tambourine, put a high pass. About a kilohertz or so. We're not going to use the crash just yet, but I'm going to bring the volume of it back. Okay, so what we're going to do now is split these into their individual groups. So I'm going to highlight across them all, go to the MIDI at the top here and go to Dissolve Part. Make sure separate pitches and we'll click OK. And now we've got an individual MIDI part for each of these. So if I just solo, we can actually go down and rename these. So that is our open hat. That's our kick one. And then this will be our kick to our tambourine. This will be hat one. Got hat two. Our clap. Our snare. glass breaking, so breaking. This is our open hat. Just double check what that is actually. So that's our hat close. And then we've got our noise. Need to just scroll across to see what this one is. It's our white noise. And then this is our tom. And finally, our vocal ah. So we can just uh, duplicate out the open hat by holding down the Alt key, clicking at the bottom there. We can just drag that across, 
Let's see if our tambourine. And if I just right click and I'll go to add track and go to add folder track. And if we can just call this our drums. And we can just highlight down. If we hold down shift, click to the bottom there. Just drop that into our drum track. You'll notice the top one there is muted. That's our original one. So we've got all of our drums in that single track now. So what I'm going to do now is go and just add a bit of EQ and compression to each group. So group number one, it's going to bring the volume back on all these tracks anyway. So I'll just start off with minus nine as a sort of set value, just to stop things peeking into the red. Group two, that's our snare. And then group three, bring minus eight on that as well. Group four, that's our kick drum. So keep that at about minus 10. And then group five, leave that as is. And then it's going to add a bit of EQ to the first group here. So if we click the extended controls here at the top. It's going to add a bit of a boost, about 2 dB or so. Just in the mid-range here. We go down to grip number two. This is our snare. So our snare and a clap, I'm gonna add a bit of a compression too. So I'm gonna to go to the dynamics compressor. Let's push the ratio up. And we'll just let more of the attack through by increasing the attack. bit more ratio, a bit less even. That'll do, and then we'll add a bit of EQ to this as well. So we'll go to the extended controls, just add a bit of a push, just in the lower range for the snare to come through. So add a bit of body to the snare, around about 170 hertz. And then we'll add another push at the upper end here. Just add a bit of fizz to the top of it. We'll just extend the cue out just so we cover more of it and doesn't make a dip in the middle there, as you can see when that cue's low. Try one of the other shelves maybe. Okay, that'll do. Leave grip three, and then grip four is our kick drum. So I'll go in and add an insert, and we'll add a compressor to this. Just bring this threshold up a wee bit. Add a bit of ratio to it. We'll turn the soft knee off, so we get a harder compression. And we'll let more of the attack through. Just don't want to lose all the dynamics of the kick drum. Just push the ratio or the release time. And then we'll add a bit of a boost just in the, the very low range for or the very low range of this. We just want to add a bit of a punch just down to the bottom here. Maybe not just so much. And then we're going to add some brightness to the top of the, the kick drum as well. So we'll add about 2 dB or so. A 
and we'll just add this across the whole upper range. So we'll add that other shelf again. So the high shelf three. I'll just bring out any of the brightness that's actually there in the kick drum. Okay, so that's a bit of EQ and compression done on those groups. In the next tutorial, we're going to bring in some reverb and send various uh, groups to the reverb unit.